What's up guys, it's been a while. Today I'm showing you how to set up Unify's LTE Backup Pro. This is a device that was rolled out recently to provide internet failback to your Unify network via cellular LTE service. On their website, they only mention AT&T as a service provider in the USA. Fortunately for me, I'm in the US and I use AT&T as my cellular service provider. Let's jump right into the install and later in this video I can talk a little bit more about the device itself. The LTE Backup Pro retails for $279 US dollars right now on the Unify website. In the box, you'll get the LTE Backup Pro, a tabletop stand, wall mounting hardware, and a little tool to access the SIM card slot. Once you've installed the SIM card, we're ready to get it connected. First thing to note that I found interesting was that the LTE Backup connects to the switch and not to the secondary WAN ports that are common on several of Unify's controller and gateway devices. Another thing to note is that you will need to connect it to a power over Ethernet or PoE port. In this case, I'm using the awesome Dream Machine Pro Special Edition, which comes equipped with eight PoE ports. I usually wait to wall mount devices until I have them fully set up. So right now I'm using the tabletop stand. Once connected, you'll see that the screen on the device indicates that it's ready to adopt. In order to adopt, you can use the mobile app or like I'm doing here, you can use the Cloud Network Manager web app. When you click Adopt, you'll see that the setup will take you through a couple of steps. A few minutes passed before I realized that the little status pop-up probably wasn't updating like I'd expected. And I noticed in the background that the device was ready to update. So I closed the setup window and I clicked the little update link on the backup to get it to its latest firmware. Once the install and the update were complete, I noticed that the controller said that the device was not registered. This has happened to me once before. When this happens, you'll have to call AT&T and make sure that the device's SIM card is assigned to the device's IMEI number correctly. Once this is done, you'll see that your controller's dashboard will say that your LTE failback is ready. If your primary WAN connection goes down for any reason, the dashboard will say that the LTE failback is active. If you have the app set up correctly, you'll also get notifications when the LTE backup is active and when your primary internet is restored. So that's a little bit about how the LTE Backup Pro looks in action. According to the Unify website, the LTE Backup Pro has 128 gigabytes of memory and it can deliver up to 150 megabits per second of download speed and about 50 megs of upload speed depending on your coverage and network performance. This is pretty decent speed to keep most small businesses or offices up and running and transacting business uninterrupted. For larger applications, I'd only recommend powering your most crucial functions with this device like access control, security, credit card terminals, and a few computers at the most. This is the first Ubiquity related video that I've done, but I've been using their stuff for about 10 years and watched them get better and better. I'm excited at the idea of making more videos, unboxing and demonstrating other products. So please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.